Did you know that most guns get famous from being in movies? Every gun that you've seen as a child as a movie, you know you always wanted to have it. I'm going to show you one of my favorite guns. Gundamentals.com Boom! Welcome to another episode of Gundamentals. It's your boy Showbiz on another one. Today we're talking about my favorite gun that I grew up watching in all my favorite action movies. I know you have one too. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gundamentalists, welcome to Gundamentals and the hottest, dopest show I've done to this day. We're talking about the Beretta 92F. The military, the real Beretta, not the Taurus. Don't get it confused for the Taurus 92F. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is the real deal. And two is always better than one. So today I have two. Let's get a closer look at this. For all you that know, this gun has been seen in movies like Die Hard, um, Terminator. I mean, some of the most iconic movies feature this gun. This is actually... This gun became famous for movies. A lot of times when manufacturers make new guns, just like when they make new cars, they'll put cars in movies or they'll put the latest new iPhone in the newest movie so people get tuned. Well, they do that with guns too. And in the 80s and 90s, the most iconic pistol that was seen in all action movies was the Beretta 92F, which was a police gun, which was a military gun, and obviously an action hero gun. And it was my favorite gun. And to be honest with you, this is the gun I learned how to shoot on. My dad was a military police, and this is what they carried. And I used to be so blown away because I would see it in the movies, and then my dad had one. So I'd be like, Dad, let me hold that, please. And, you know, the little hands, little kid holding Bruce Willis's gun. It was so badass. Now, as an old foggy, old grown man, gun the mentalist, we play with these all day. We have guns all the time. As you know, these are unloaded. I have two of them here identical, but there is a little secret that I'm gonna let you on a little bit later. I have identical 92Fs, 92Fs. These are the military, M19s, I think they call them in the military, but we call them 92F for the Beretta. Once again, a lot of people were influenced by this gun, even other gun manufacturers. There's people that did clones and knockoffs of the Beretta, but like I said, don't get it twisted. There's only one Beretta. Taurus, they're a cool gun company. They got a new gun out that's pretty badass that people say. But they have a gun that looks identical to this. As a matter of fact, it might even be called the Taurus 92F. It's not a Beretta, though. Beretta is the one and only made in Italy. The thing I like about this gun, one of the things I like about this gun is it's been so long since I've seen a barrel stay straight when it's racked open like this. You know, most of the Glocks and the polymer guns have a little slanted barrel, and it's supposedly to give you a wider port for ejection. This already comes with a wide port ejection. This is a straight shooter, point and shoot. The uh, er ergonomics of this gun are like a pointer finger. So if you were just pointing across the room, the way your hand would naturally point, these guns are built like that. A 1911 is one of them. Beretta 92F is one of them. We call those point and shoot guns. Um, it's a big gun. It's a it's a it's a service sized weapon. This is not a little compact. If you were to carry a gun like this, it's very possible. Um, would I carry a gun like this? Um, I would in the winter time if I had the right holster on because it's it's a big boy gun. It's a service weapon. It's it's well balanced. It's got the proper weight. It is all metal. It's all steel. It's not polymer on the bottom and. Some other shit on the top. This is a steel gun. This is a steel gun, a.k.a. a real gun. Um, would I carry it every day? Probably not. Would I keep it in the glove box? Possibly. Would it be a nighttime side uh, nightstand gun? Absolutely. Um, it's chambered in 9mm. For the most part, they do have another one as well I'm going to talk about in a minute. It's part of my surprise. But um, this is the U.S. 9mm M9. I said M19, I was wrong, it's the M9. So in the military, boy, go grab you one of them M9s out the box and go to work. So this is the M9, that's what they're talking about. The soldier will carry it. As you notice, it's got the little loop on the bottom in the grip. This is all military because when they put in their holster, they got a little bit, a little cord. It's a, you know, like they don't drop it, like an old man with a chain on the wallet. They got a chain on the gun. 
This gun is single action, double action. For all that don't know that, here goes a little 101. Single action means it takes one single action for that bullet to fire. Boom. You pull that trigger, that firing pin hit, it goes off. Double action means there's a two stages have to happen. As you pull the trigger, it activates the hammer. The hammer goes back. Fires. That's double action. It's a harder trigger pull. Probably a nine pound. Shit, maybe a 10 pound trigger pull, which is an which is a deliberate trigger pull. Ladies and gentlemen, this gives you time to think. If you're getting ready to pull this trigger, there's enough time in it to realize what's getting ready to happen because it's such a, a hard pull. Now, on the other hand, in the self-defense, if you're mad, uh, you're scared for your life, I'm sure you're going to pull that trigger pretty fast. But it's, it's not the easiest trigger on the double action mode. Once you do shoot the first shot, it becomes single action. And now that trigger is basically semi-cocked and it's all the way to the back. And ladies and gentlemen... The 92F is one of the best single action triggers in the game. Leave it in the comments if you think I'm wrong. You know, I know you're going to say the 1911 is there, and I do agree. But listen, there's nothing like a 92F trigger. And the pull on that trigger, once again, I'm going to show you a little closer. Look how close it is. Amazing, man. This gun right here, like I said, is very, because of the weight and the full size, it's very accurate. Especially shooting something like a 9 millimeter. So your recoil isn't going to be too crazy. Um, a lot more moving parts on this gun than per se a Glock or something like that. So I, I, I would I would probably leave this gun to a professional. I don't know if this would be your first gun you would buy. Um, definitely, I would start with something simple, maybe a Glock or something. You know, if you never got into guns, start with something very modern, very simple, very sleek, very easy. As you learn guns and you want to get into the mechanics of guns and know how they work, these are the type of guns you get, the 92Fs, the 1911s, certain CZs that you can actually take down and break down to a bunch of parts. Great, because if they're well oiled and they're working right, they're going to work like a sewing machine. If they're fucked up or dirty or you got some grit or something that don't belong, they could malfunction and there's so many parts. If you don't know what's going on, you're going to panic and probably hurt yourself. So 92F, is, like I said, this is a iconic movie gun, my favorite. I learned on this gun. This gun transformed into the Glock these days. Matter of fact, when I say transformed to the Glock, meaning the Glock became the police weapon. This at one time was the police weapon. Actually, let me correct myself, and I'm glad I'm on Gun Dementals because you know we speak freely. I can tell you what I'm thinking. Even if I fuck up, I'll go back and fix it. M and P, Smith and Wesson, they came out with M and P. M and P stands for military and police. So the Smith and Wesson M and P is one of the most carried weapons by law enforcement aside from the Glock. That took the place of the 92 F Beretta. Um, and there's a 92 FS as well. Some mechanical shit. I'm not even gonna get into it. If you look it up yourself on YouTube, you'll see the difference. No real difference. Um, but this basically became obsolete in the in the eyes of law enforcement and they got more of a lighter gun uh, more polymer you know a little more modern but a gun enthusiast or anybody who really knows about guns and appreciates guns knows the 92f is a badass motherfucker man and I salute this gun and what I've been trying to hold back but I can't because I haven't touched this one yet identical guns right identical identical 40 cal. 9 millimeter, 40 cal. What do you know about that? It's so crazy. The 40 cal people are calling me from the heavens. Huh? I know. Yeah. See, they were calling my line just now. That's how hot this gun is. So, ladies and gentlemen, 92F does come in 9 millimeter and 40. These guns are actually one of my buddy's guns. He's a he's a gun, gun dementalist. You'll meet him soon. His name is Andrew slash Trent. I'll tell you the story later, but uh, he actually just did a, a review on one of my uh, one of his shotguns, the Bai Salah, and he actually went out and shot it. He shot it before I could shoot it, and the rules around here are if you shoot it first, you own it. So he got he took the shotgun out. He said, hey, show, let me take this to Florida with me. Go shoot. Yeah, sure, buddy. He came back so happy. I said, you know what? Happy birthday, man. That's your gun. And now he's he did a little review. We're going to show that on Gundamentals. 
And these are his guns. So salute to my brother Andrew. Um, he brought these by because we, we always talk about guns. If Gundamentals was a <clears throat> an unplugged reality show, you would love it. Because also all we do is talk about guns and ammo and all kinds of shit. So we both are big fans of the 92F. He pulls in here one day and says, yo, I got something. Bang, it shows me the gun. I'm like, holy shit, you got one. Oh, I've been had this one, but check this out. Bam, shows me the 40. Good guy after my own heart, bro. So here we are, 92Fs. Big gun from action movies. Go to Google, type in Beretta 92F movies, and you'll see how many movies it's been. And I can't even list them all. I just know some of my favorite action movies that had this gun. And um, I want one. I think I'm going to get me the Inox, the silver one, the, the, the stainless steel one. I really like it. I'm going to throw some hole grips on it. And I might get the one with the rail on it because I'm a rail kind of guy. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you real quick, man. I wanted to review these guns. I've been sitting on these guns for a while. They, oh, hold on. Before I go, these guns have all the horns and whistles and tricks that all the new guns have, too. For you high-capacity lovers, the gun already holds, what is it, 17? This is 18. 18 plus 1. Plus, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bruce Willis didn't tell me this. Mel Gibson didn't have this. This 92F has 20 rounds in it. We have 18 plus one right here and one in the pipe. That's 20 rounds. That's going to make me want to go get my eye knocks faster than, than I thought. 20 rounds and, of course, the 40 are probably two bullets shy. You know what I mean? But they do have, for you new, for you new, Extendo Season. They got the Extendos. That's what they call them in the street, Extendos, but we just call them Extended Magazines. And... Thank God that we live in a free country and we can own stuff like this. And for the tyrants that are always trying to take this away from us, give it up, man. This is America, bro. You live here, we live here. We got to protect, protect ourselves. And what better to do with them 30 rounds of 9 millimeter full metal jacket? Fundamentals, baby. Here we are, 92F. Any questions, comments, rebuttals, talk some shit. Go down in the comments, hit the like, the comments, subscribe, share, tell your friends. What You know what to do. You watch YouTube, do what you do for them other guys. Click everything on the bottom. Thank you for tuning in to Gun to Mentals. Once again, the Beretta 92F, iconic movie, action pack, the guns of the heroes. You've seen them right here on Gun to Mentals. Gun to Mentals. Get loaded today.